Typical data virtualization, virtual data layer. We'll show you how typical data virtualization can help you to combine and provision all enterprise data by creating a virtual data layer. Decrease data duplication and hide the complexity resulting from different technology, formats, protocols, and locations. We'll use two different data distributions, a local database source and a local file system. We will transform, combine, and make the data available using different virtual layers. This approach consists of three layers. Layer one, the physical layer, which we use as a direct representation of the data sources. Layer two, the business layer. On this layer, we transform, join different data sets in order to create one or more business representations of one or more specific data sets. Then the third layer, which is the final layer, is called the presentation layer. On the presentation layer, we can add some extra logic to make it consumer specific and decide on how it will be distributed and shared. Let's take a look on how it can be done within the development environment called Typical Data Virtualization Studio. Within the shared workspace, I already created a project called Virtual Data Layer. The result of the project will be a data set which is ready to be distributed for our consumers and a diagram of all the virtual data layers created to make the data set available. The project consists of two data sources, a PostgreSQL database and a local file system. I created three folders in order to follow the data virtualization architecture layered approach. On the physical layer, I have already created views of both data sources, two views from the database and one on the file system. All views are SQL based virtual tables. Now on the business layer, let's create a view, join and transform the data set. Business layer, new view, layer two, order view. Let's drag the views from the first layer to the canvas. Order and now join them product ID with product ID and order ID with order ID. I go to my grid tab, select all tables, and now I can deselect some columns to decrease data duplication. Order ID, product ID and then save. Now in the presentation layer, we will create a few that we would like to share with our consumers and we will see how all these virtual layers are coming together. Presentation layer, view, layer three, order overview. I will drag the data set from the business layer to the canvas. Go to my grid tab, select the table. Here I can deselect the columns that I don't want to use in my final data set. Customer ID, employer ID, for example. Then I say save. And now when we open the lineage panel on this data model, we can see how all these virtual layers are coming together. The two data sources, the file system and the Postgres database, then the different data sets coming from the two different data sources. The first layer, which is the physical layer, the three views that we created as part of the physical layer, then the view, which is a representation of the business layer, and then finally the presentation layer, the view that is part of the presentation layer. When we click on the plus sign, we can see all the columns that will be shown as part of the data set on the presentation layer, and which we can distribute as a database service or a web service. The power of typical data virtualization, virtual data layer, is to help you decrease data duplication and hide the complexity resulting from provisioning different technologies, formats, protocols, and locations.